Welcome to What Culture Gaming. I'm Rich. I'm joined by Scott. Hello. And over the weekend, you've been playing some Black Ops 4. The multiplayer beta kicked off over the weekend for mm -hmm. PS4 only, hence why he's doing the talking and I'm not. <laughs> um, You'll get your time. I will get my time, hopefully, next weekend coming. So, just very quickly, Scott, what did you think of it? Oh, I actually came away quite positive. Now, um, okay. we've talked about this a lot in the office because Black Ops 4 is one of the biggest, like, you know, core shakeups to the formula in quite a yeah. while. Um, and as we'll start breaking things down, there are a lot of contentious issues, let's say. <laughs> um, and if you, like, have a quick scour of fan forums or Reddit, there's already some fallout as to which sides people I've are falling I've seen a on. lot of stuff on Reddit. And yes. About it. Um, so basically, I've kind of got, like, six points that I kind of want to break down. Um, the first one, they, they, they even revealed this, you know, months ago, is the new health system, yeah. uh, which doesn't mean that you regenerate health just by standing around anymore. It's a dedicated button that you press. It's L1. Um, and I actually quite like this. Uh, I was talking to Ewan about it as well, and he was saying that, like, does it mean that, you know, if you are you want to just get away from someone and play tactically and reheal and come back around, that you can't, you'll always get chased down because you know you'll need to stop to heal. But you don't, like, you can you can heal on the go, you can do that kind of thing. Yeah. The animation for it's very snappy, like, it's about Yeah, I've seen in gameplay, it's quite quick, but then I've also seen people get kills of people in the corner going, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and so, like, I don't, I don't necessarily mind it. It reminds me of, like, I, I don't know, some, like, old-school World War II shooters where people yeah. have to reload their guns way slower, so it means that, like, reloading or healing is like a tactile decision. Getting back into a firefight is a bit longer than just going tch, tch, and just running back in. Yeah, it? and there okay. is like there is something funny about two players <laughs> with, like healing up so they can get the shot off like <laughs> like face to face. And um, so I quite like that. I think that's like that's a decent change. Like yeah. uh, it, it does change the pace of the game, like you know, in like sort of a meaningful way. Um, but I can see why people would fall on the other side because regenerating health is something that Call of Duty just has lent on for a very long time. Yeah. Um, so whatever. The other thing which is even more contentious is the radial fog. Um, which, right, like, this is something I'm completely lost on. Yeah, so, so they barely communicated this. Um, basically, on the minimap now, you have a, a radial zone around your character. Everybody has this, um, which just detects other players. They show up as red blips, and it's like... So is it like a mini UAV? Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, I'm trying to think of what it is. Do you remember in Black Ops 1, there was the motion sensor, the equipment, that you could plonk it down and you'd get a radius and it would show you people within that radius? Yeah, and it would like Is it like it. that, but you've got it strapped to your back? Uh, it's, it, it doesn't, there's not a visual thing. Well, no, um, I mean, is it hypothetically? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. Weird. It's like, you've got, a, yeah, you've got a constant readout of stuff that's nearby. Um, so apparently, uh, Activision have already addressed this and said that they might change it so that blips only, only other enemies only show up if they're sprinting. Because right now, everybody who's anywhere near you just pops up. And so if yeah. your whole team moves together as one, then you can see everybody around you, which is good and obviously you know promotes teamwork and that kind of thing. Um, but I have already seen the moniker online of shot in the back ops for Ooh. because there's a lot of just people figuring out where you're going to be and uh. sniping you and coming around the side and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I can see why that's you know contentious. Um, for me, it helped because it meant that I at least had a, a, ba a vague idea of where to go and how to yeah. get some shots off and things like that. Maybe it's just a good thing for beginners because you already said that one of the specialist perks is to light up a whole part of the map as well, or you can plunk stuff on the walls and sort of like. Yeah. Allude other people. There was a there was a specialist in Black Ops Three that had the ability to like pulse out like a big thing, yep. and people within a radius would show up and stuff like that. But just having that on by default just seems kind of weird. It's like yeah. going into private matches in Modern Warfare Two and having radar switched on, so you can always see people on the <laughs> minimap. It just seems kind of strange that they take it, they take that approach. It's it's interesting. I mean, I hate using that word because it's kind of just a nothing word, but it's interesting going forward. But to see how the, the community responds to it, or how different play styles in regards to playing yeah. Call of Duty maybe change or have to adapt to it. They've already said they're looking into tweaking it, so I guess yeah. we'll see. Maybe at the minute it's overpowered. And the next big thing, which I'm on the contentious scale, is armor, which is the thing that is just just splitting everybody yeah. in half. And um, because this demonstrably lowers the TTK, the time to kill, and um, because you can basically choose to get a perk, which is an armor boost. And it means that, you know, going face to face with another player, you just have to watch their life bar go down. They have way more health. Yeah. Even a headshot won't put them down initially. Um, and you can also bolster it with a specific specialist who gets a flak jacket, which just means that you can withstand a hell of a lot of punishment. That's, um, that's so weird because the last time they had any kind of perk that gave you more health was World at War. Yes. Which was 10 years ago. Juggernaut. And I since think. then, they've never put that in. They had mm. things like stopping power to give bullets more damage, but they took that out after one game as well. <laughs> so it's like the fact that they're going back to, I think, because they saw it, like, Sledgehammer brought back this really old school just this is multiplayer yep. go like there's no there's no fanning around there's no sparkly bits it's mm -hmm. just here's your class here's a map kill each other yeah and I think Trout kind of go oh yeah we can do this as well let's bring back all the shit perks that nobody <laughs> liked the thing with me is that like because for Black Ops 3 for example the TZK was so it was low horrendously quick yeah and it was just like you felt like you looked at someone and died and for me I couldn't I just couldn't get used to that speed I hated Black Ops 3's multiplayer yeah yeah really and it was did. like it was very hard to get yeah. used to and I think that they've obviously addressed that head on like some of the elements you can argue um, you know it, it, there's some corollaries with something 
like Overwatch in terms of the superpowers, even though they were in Black Ops 3, but something like Black Ops 4 is getting compared to Overwatch or hero shooters more than it ever has before. Yeah. And it makes me wonder if they're going down this bullet sponge route a little bit because that's what you have in those more kind like of games. A, more like an old school Twitch shooter where you take like three rockets to the face to be yeah. able to be killed. Yeah. And I just... It, for Twitch shooters, that kind of it makes sense if it because Call of Duty is a Twitch shooter at yes. the end of the day. It's oh, not, yeah. It's not a military realistic shooter. It's not Battlefield. Mm -hmm. It is a Twitch shooter. Mm -hmm. But to go down like as you said, like an Overwatch, like a Quake route. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking Team Fortress as well in terms yep. of time to kill. It's like that's it seems uncharacteristically hard. It is so, and. Like, yeah. they've had to balance it a little bit. Like, sometimes, you know, you'll still get taken out from afar with a well-placed sniper shot. Oh, absolutely, like, yeah. You know, there are weapons that are still going to put you down. I mean, the amount of flack that Sledgehammer got for the double barrel in World War II, <laughs> not killing somebody at point-blank range. Yeah. Um, you know, if they if they did that with snipers and said, oh, you take a sniper to the head, but all oh, that they've still got two HP <laughs> left. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see how they go from here because this yeah. makes me think of other the way that you play like a Halo where you're sort of like juking around each other, jumping, firing off like half a clip before you put someone down. It's not as like overblown as that, but you do stand it a feels, chance against it feels someone now. Longer, it feels like the yeah. firefights go on for longer. Yeah. yeah, and it's like they've obviously put it. They obviously made a specific perk to, to channel that, and they said they're going to address this in a future update. Yeah. They're probably going to end up doing a blog post about it, and um, because putting you know armor and that 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 way of extending your health is a, is a hell of a change. Yeah. Um, and does change everything about Call of Duty from the TTK to the, even the base feel of fighting someone. So that's quite interesting. Um, the other thing is just the specialists. Like Obviously, they've been in since Blobs 3 anyway. Um, but people are still hankering for a playlist where you could just turn them off and do like a standard Call of Duty match. just do general build a class and then off you go. Yeah. yeah. And like, I mean, you were saying that like, you, know, you can just not use them if you don't want to. Yeah, at the end of the day, like the specialists, I think people, may, people take the specialists as, like, as you said, the Overwatch clone kind of thing. And they have this in Black Ops 3. And most of the specialists in Black Ops 3 are in Black Ops 4 as well. Yep like the bloke with the gravity spikes. Mm -hmm. um, but in reality, you don't need to use them. Like if, if they had like, oh, this guy has slightly more health, or this guy has a quicker movement speed, mm -hmm. or anything like that, then that would make more sense. But I mean, obviously, I don't know yet because I've not played the beta. Um, but in Black Ops 3, it was a case of you chose this specialist, and all it gave you was their special ability. That was it. There was nothing else different about it. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like none of the specialists in Black Ops 3 that I thought had, a, had an ability that I really felt was worth Using. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like they were kind of like, oh, this can come in at a really useful opportunity, but it's mm. not like I'm building up to getting like a mini gun or something. Right. Like, yeah. It's just, yeah. I, I, it's kind of like cosmetics and loot boxes. If they're not, if they're there and they don't really make much of a difference and you don't really care. Then you don't need it's to worry not, about them. Yeah, it's not as power dependent as something like Overwatch. Like the majority of kills are still coming from the guns. It's not coming yeah, from yeah, like yeah. I deployed this turret, I deployed, I laid down this gravity slam thing or whatever. It's still. I mean, that's kind of my main wrap up point is that it still feels like Call of Duty. Okay. Um, there are a lot of things bolstered onto this, and to some degree, they have to for the sake of keeping the series fresh. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, for me, it still felt like Call of Duty. I still went okay. around the corner, saw a guy, and got shot within yeah, like three like, seconds. Yeah, like watching watching <laughs> gameplay over the weekend, it does still look like Call of Duty. Yeah. It looks like Black Ops. It looks like a Treyarch shooter, mm -hmm. um, but I'm intrigued to see how all of this new stuff is going to balance each other out because it, it sounds like from over the weekend and what you said, it's a bit of a weird mess at the moment. I think they're exploring new territory, um, and I, I applaud them for trying some risks. I mean, we, you know, it, it's over a decade old at this point. I mean, way more than that if you go before Modern Warfare. I keep thinking of Modern Warfare as like it's the like linchpin. I mean, that was when it really did something yeah, exactly. for, for popularity-wise. Mm -hmm. um, but even like the Black Ops series, because World at War is kind of the Black Ops game in terms of canon, like mm. the Black Ops series is 10 years old now as well. Yeah, and so, so yeah. They, they, they all have to try and pump as much new stuff in as they can. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping I can play the beta this coming weekend. I want to see what it's like on PC. We're going to jive back to vision. It, it, might be, it, might be, it might be open for PC. It was for World War II. I know it was closed for the consoles, but for PC beta it was open. because oh, like, okay. I mean, it, it might be again, because they, I think the reason why the PC beta was open last year is because they're like, hey, we give a shit about PCs. <laughs> we want to get PC players in. Mm -hmm. So let's have an open beta. And it did really well. The player count was mm -hmm. massive last year. Well, they definitely so they they, need it feedback. Might, it, might so. be today, it might be today, this weekend. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see, and we'll have to get back to you on that. We'll have to yep. do like an update video on what we think of the next, the second weekend of the beta, because I'm, I am kind of intrigued to play it. I will yep. be playing Black Ops 4. Um, I'll play Blackout. I'll play multiplayer. I never zombies. But... So I, they've said Blackout's coming later this year. September, uh, September. apparently. It's a, I think it might be PS4 only Ooh, for well, the Blackout thing. But um, I did mention the other day that I don't think I've seen anything saying that it is that they have got that thing where they're in Sony's pocket right now. Right, okay. I've not, maybe you might have to uh, correct me on this comment, but... <laughs> I don't really feel like I've seen the guys get the get the first map packs on PS4. Yeah, it's been more. I've not seen that yet, so maybe that contract is up, and then Activision are going. Do you know what? 
Let's let's just let's just keep it across. Let's mm -hmm. keep everything open for everyone. Well, I think right now they need feedback, and they're they, very yeah, they on need board. As, as many bums on seats as possible yeah. to really get this game good. And the fact they're doing the betas this, I say this early, but it is early compared to like oh, yeah. Fallout seventy six. The betas like a month before the game comes out. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you going to do there, Todd? True. Something's I mean, happen. I think that they've shown that they're putting a lot of new elements out into the community, and they're going to see you know what the response is. Their community team have been on fire as far as like jumping into the different forums and saying like, look, we hear you, God, we're working on it. Like, I mean, this after, thing, after this thing. The, the big cock up with the Black Ops pass. You'd hope they're being a bit yes. more vocal. And so they seem like they're pretty on the ball. I think this is a good step forward. I'm just I'm, I'm just interested in the most genuine sense of the word to see how everybody takes to it and just how they go forward with Call of Duty. Yeah, because I mean, Black Ops 3 is still a very, very, like, it's got a huge player base. Yeah. So after like three years, it's still really big. In fact, I mean, they're still putting pumping out content mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. So if they can manage to transfer that huge fan base from three onto four, then, you know, near Treyarch or well away, they've got another... COD that's going to last them for a good three years yeah. compared to things like Infinite Warfare that just goes, <laughs> and just dies on its ass. And I do think this is more accessible than Blobs 3. That, that was one of my things yeah, too. Yeah, because I think because like for me especially, the fact they got rid of the advanced move stuff, I mean, there's still the guy with the grappling hook. When I saw that in the trailer, I was like, you've got rid of advanced move, but you gave a guy He's a grappling hook. He's the graph hook. slam man. Oh, is it him? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but the fact that it is back up to boots on the ground, yep. and that, that, yeah, you're right, that does make it a bit more in inviting. And it does seem right now that uh, Treyarchs are the favourite. Yeah, all your the, God, the developers wise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, saying that, yeah, there was the Black Ops Pass conundrum earlier <laughs> this year, but there we it's go. It's all right for now, though. Yeah. Seems Have you been right. playing the Black Ops 4 beta this weekend? Have you seen some of it? You have to let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, head to whatculture.com for more gaming news and stuff and quizzes. <gasps> Lots of quizzes every single day. <laughs> anyway, I've been Rich. Hi, Scott. And we'll see you later. Yes, I guess. very soon. Bye. Bye.